yeah, I recorded that death. And now, fear can't kill you, but oh. Okay, so oh. you gotta go back and get the fuel. I know. I really want Resident Evil One again. Okay, I'm pretty sure I gotta go over here to fill it up. Just don't run. I know. I think that's what happened. I think I accidentally hit B button out of fear. Instinct, you know. Really? That's Ooh. literally it? That was all I had to do? So what is the proper way to carry the Magnum? Out of curiosity. Is there a proper way? What do you mean? Well, when Chris walks around with the gun, he holds it straight up, but when he runs, he puts it down. When Jill does the exact opposite. Which is the correct way? I don't know. Is it to hold it down so that way you don't shoot yourself in the fucking head? I don't know. It's a uh, pretty mixed bag. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that works. Exactly, you know, it's not very clear. You remember that one thing? Me in the personally, I would hold it up because I would, wouldn't be shooting myself in the head. I don't know that. <laughs> no, it would not be a very like on accident. Thing. Like, believe me, I've ran into enough accidents at this point. Yeah. Do you, Do you wish to tell a story of one of your accidents? Well, all right. So it was Halloween. Ooh, spooky. Nice and spooky. Yes. And I went out as Alien from, like, the Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones was in that? Or no. Guy, what a big dick on a boat. No, it was, uh... Oh, T-Pain. It's that one or the other actor I can't remember. Oh. Um, what... But also Jeff Goldblum, the guy from Jurassic Park, he was in there. Of course he was. He's in all the high grossing 90s movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And... Wait, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, and so... Day After Tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. No, that's diff that's the cold movie. I... No, no, no. No, Day After Tomorrow is the cold movie. Independence no. Day! Yeah. Okay. And... That was when I pulled my I'd... first tooth out. I, I, like, went out as an alien and went to doors and stuff. And with that mask on, I ran in just, like, two trees. Like, running, like, having fun. Like, ooh. I'm a kid. I'm having a good time. And poof. Tree. Oh. Damn, that would have hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> it was, it was not great. Not, not a fun time for you. Not the funnest, but you know what? It was Halloween, and I really didn't care. Yeah, and you so got I all the freak. They keep going. You're running into trees. Yeah, I ran into some trees, and then the next, the next Halloween, we're like, wow, well, let's be, let's be, uh, you know cool about this and I was dressed as a Minnesota Viking the best yeah. team on the planet man yep yep and they are yeah they are but go on and I had the helmet and everything you know like I was, I was a legit football player and the door opened way too fast knocked me in the head backed me over the stairs <laughs> Somebody opened a car door and you ran into it? No. Oh, I was going to say, because if that happened, at least oh, they Oh, no, you. that did happen one time, though. Oh, okay, so a different I, accident I, I altogether. Ran, but... I, I just ran into a car mirror. Oh, okay. Didn't know there. Huh. It, it just, like, like, hit me in the head. Oh, that kind of hurt. And then all shit. Well, Parker, you know what I think we're going up to? Sorry. You see what's in my items? You see that? Ooh. Do you know where we're going? I think we're gonna fight the tyrant. 
Holy crap. This is my first time fighting the tyrant on the GameCube. If that elevator will get here. Oh, it's already here. I didn't... I thought it was coming down. Alright, are you ready? We're at the end. So. We're at the end. Can you believe this? The yeah. lab is short. I know. I didn't think it was as long. I remember it was... Whoa, what is that? I don't know. I don't like it. Wow, what a large room. Should I have my shotgun on or the revolver? I feel like I look cooler with this. Yeah, that's right. Look cool. Sweet. What do we got? Oh, hey, look. Biohazard. The logo. I like how Wesker doesn't come up against you like in, you know, Jill scenario. For scenario. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Wow, he's badass. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're a bit confused. Carter, do you need some help? No. Always always okay. It's stars, stars are umbrellas. umbrellas. No, no. Rather, rather, my little babies. What does that even mean? The tire tires that to lead in this whole place. Whoa, Chris is being badass grabbing the gun. That could have killed him in an instant. I'm a fair man, man. I'll destroy all the stars along with this entire place. No, it's not very fair. You're kind of just pointing it right in his head. You should probably just hand in a hand and get up. Wesker doesn't seem as badass as he was as he gets, you know, in Resident Evil 5. Is this before he becomes a clone, or is it the clone that... This is before he becomes a clone. Or the clone comes and gets you. Look at that! That FMV is so scary! He's like, holy Look shit. Look at that huge claw! Like, oh bump, my bump, gosh. Bump, bump. So, how do I kill it? Wow, that I'm sorry, but I don't want. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with that thing. Doesn't that, it have like all the viruses? No, that's just like a super tyrant the virus. No, that's Shadow. The Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> ultimate Life Space <laughs> Colony right. Arc. You've, you've <laughs> seen oh, I see where you're coming from, but no, Chris. it's it's just like the tyrant virus, but. It, it it was only uh oh specified for certain oh shit like people mm -hmm. and yeah. if you're not one of those people it's totally fucked but this dude his genetics were like I'm gonna become a super fucking dude. <laughs> No. Wow, Chris. Oh my god! He's huge! Oh, Jesus! He's like 20 feet tall! Okay, um, what do I do? Oh my god! He's not even phased! He's like, oh. <laughs> he's throwing... <laughs> oh god! Oh, ow! Ow! You need to get out of there. Oh How god. much damage did that? No. Oh. Oh, that's not so much. Okay, well, I'm gonna move. Eh, eh, eh. Oh. He's a. Holy crap! Wow, he's a bitch! I didn't think he was that weak! Wow! Chris Dance! Yeah! Look at Chris go! Look Woo! at him! Look at how cool Chris is. Look at that. He can shake that gun. He's gonna make Jill shake it at the club later. He's gonna get oh, he's gonna get oh. all the sex. She's gonna blow him for four hours and not complain. Just wait. <laughs> hey, why don't you go whack off? <laughs> oh, that's nice.
The master key. What a pathetic way to die. Ooh. Ooh. Read this. Oh, this ties into Resident Evil 2. Dude, I can't. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact the 21st years the administration the of the progenitor virus or pro the prototype parasite which we had delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen the sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction the lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery but now everything is clear to me now on the next mysterious mysteries <laughs> <laughs> the prototype parasite was incubating yeah. in the sample specimen's body for 21 years then from that incubating state the prototype suddenly mutated evolved maybe a more appropriate word to describe it yeah this, this observation gave me more insight in my research though further modification and I was able to derive a method to create the G-Virus that surpassed the performance, the performance of T. T. The breakthrough that would change the future of Bao's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexa's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately Alexa I'll have does. to wait a few more years to completely verify my fi I like how they mention Alexa for Code Veronica. And they also know, mentioned William so good. William Birkin for Resident Evil 2, but they didn't do that in the original one. Because they didn't have anything outlined, they just said, hey, here's a game. You know, now they're like, oh god, we gotta think about story and stuff. Terminal looks like it's used as a monitor status of the creatures inside the castle. This is definitely one of the creepiest things you've ever... Does that say you've? <laughs> it says you've! <laughs> Why well, does it say I've? That's the one thing where it breaks the story. Holy crap. Things you've ever seen, I've ever seen. Well. That's. Holy shit in a box dot com backslash. Oh! I used the master key. Come here, Jill. I'm gonna come in your room. We're gonna have this, all the sweet sex in this basement of the mansion. Mm. Mm. Jill, mm. Jill, sorry I made sorry you wait. You wait. Mm. Can you come? Let's get out of here. Mm. Yeah, I will. Um, I should grab a first aid spray. Do I really need the master key? I probably do. You wouldn't hurt to keep it. Hold on to it, and also... Wait, doesn't Barry, like, unload his shit right there, like, oh, you know, I, my... Wesker was holding my kids hostage. Oh, hey, Jill! Woo! Yeah, discard. Hey, Jill. What the? No, I'm going to the door! <laughs> oh my god. Why would I even need those? This is Corey. <laughs> I'm running out of fuel. I can't fly a helicopter. This is your last chance of getting out of here. Ooh, the battery. I like that Jill's there. First one, though, and it was the best remake ever. Of any game Seriously. I ever saw. Seriously. I'll take care, I'll take care of, of them. them. You have a handgun! Okay, okay. Jill, you're not gonna do crap. Where's Barry? <laughs> Where's his useless ass? <laughs> I need him to make puns about his magnum and about my locking skills. Is there anything else around here? Huh, big open area. Huh, yeah. I wonder what this is used for. <laughs> what? Yeah, right <laughs> in the exact here. middle or no? Yeah, you can. Right there. Right there. What do we got? 
rockets. I can signal Brad with this. <laughs> Pryo? Isn't it supposed to be Pyro? Pyrotechnic signal. I can use it to contact Brad. Hey, Brad, do you, you can't use this? fucking read word or write worth of shit, man. No, they can't. It's the creepiest thing you've ever seen. You mean I've ever seen? Huh? Is it like night or day? Did he go through this whole thing in one night? Or was it over days? Okay. I don't know. She doesn't look like she's doing so well. Hey, look, it's, it's Brad. Brad's being cool guy. Hey, I see you guys. Yeah, come on, Brad. Hurry up. You're being a dick. Wait, did I even set off the self-destruct or no? Do you do that? I thought so. Well, I didn't do anything like that. Does Wesker do it? Oh, nope, never mind. I'm just going to lift back up real quick. What's he doing? What is he literally what? doing? What? What is he literally doing? What? What? Don't I fight the tyrant? Don't I? Parker? What about Rebecca? And I don't know, man. what? Don't I explode the place? Is that the tyrant? What about? Out? What about? Is that no? That's what you got, man. <laughs> no, but don't I have to kill the tyrant the second time on the roof? Can, can I replay that? Yes, yes, you did a fine job. Thank you. I'd say so myself. I did pretty well. Nothing else? Real survival mode. Item boxes are no longer linked. The items you put in the item box can only retrieve from that location. Aiming changes to manual operation. Prototype feature that existed even before first Resident Evil game. I'm so glad that they didn't keep it that way. Ooh, I got the closet key. This has a new costume. I can't wait to see it. Well, can I save over this? You can save over Gunfall, or you can save over the other one. I want to save over this one. Well, I want to go back to Chris 22 and see if I can do something else. All right, let's see. Can I literally not blow up the mansion? Is that literally impossible? I thought the mansion blows up. I remember the mansion blowing up. It does, but... I think with Chris it's harder. You... There's some other stuff. I don't know, though. Is it a bad ending? Uh oh. There's like five different endings. Holy crap. <laughs>